Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. And in this demo, we are going to see how we are going to create a Node.js web app using Visual Studio Code and deploy it to Azure App Services. This is the number from Stack Overflow Developer Survey 2021, where we can see that Node.js is one of the widely used languages uh, in the world. That's why I thought that let's see how we can deploy a Node.js into Azure and how complex it is. So let's see that. So we are into Azure portal and resource group named node demo where we are going to create a node where we will create app services and host node.js web app. So let's see that and for that we need to install node.js and npm. So let me install node.js with npm go to node.js.org and then we can go to download section and then let's download windows installer let's run this let's finish now let's go to visual studio code i have already installed visual studio code first so let me create one folder This will be my root folder. Let's try to see that our npm runs also not. So yeah, it is running npm. So we can also see that which version of node is available. So we can say that node in on the version command we can see that 18.14.2 which we have just installed so that is okay now let's uh, use one express with a node itself one express application generator tools comes so i'm going to run that command for now and the command if we see so we are going to run npx tool and using express generator to generate our web app and name is my express app we can change that mm, let's see that soft page express app so let me generate that let's install that package now let's see this this uh, folder has, has been generated this is the package and other things so i will go inside this folder now let me go take that and let me open a terminal one more time and let's install all this package which is into my package.json with the command of npm install so i'm going to install all this there are a few issues with uh, these tools these packages but i'm going to keep that one right now i'm not going to fix it now i can go ahead and run another command to run this web apps let me try to start this app with npm start let's try to browse localhost now we can see this express app is running now if i go ahead and try to change anything let me see this is our index one let's try to see that change will come to soft page and save this now it is getting all the details and if we go and refresh that one i can see that update is there so let me refresh once more time so this is how this page is looks like now let's go ahead and deploy this node.js app inside azure so i'm into azure extension into visual studio 
and then I'm going to select inside my subscription and I will go inside app services and I have few application but I can go ahead and create from here right now it is not given an option so what we have to do that we have to go and say that in extension app services one let me try to select app services azure app services let me install this extension now it is installed let me go ahead and refresh this now i can see this option and now i'm going to create uh, uh, with this advanced option and it is asking to give a globally unique name i can give that same name for whatever we have given for our application and i guess that should be there so now it is asking which resource group so we have a resource group called node dot node demo node demo where no resources is present so let me select that and it is saying then which runtime mistake so we have installed node 18 so i'm going to select node 18 and windows or linux uh, which version so we did on to windows so let's select windows it says that uh, create a new web service plan let's create that yeah and let's see that which one so it is saying that free is recommended so we can go ahead and uh, select the free one only and it says that you can skip application inside creation or create in that one so i'm going to skip for now now it is going to create a web app with this service plan we can go ahead and see in the deployment section if it is trying to deploy with arm and other thing if it is trying to deploy with powershell then it uh, it will be not coming here now it is coming that it app service plan has been created now let's see what is that this says that app service plan created successfully so let's see i see this app service there is apps one app this is app is here so if we go it is coming here now too it takes a little bit while so now i'm going to deploy if i browse right now this app service so default azure page will come because we have not deployed anything so it supports dotnet java dotnet and more so let me go ahead and deploy this one from visual studio code and it is asking a folder so this is what our folder is where we have this web app so let me deploy that yes let's see what happened so uh, let's see if it deployed anything or not because it throwed an error so no so let's see one setting we have to do in the application setting let's add one setting and you have to see this setting this is the key we have to provide and uh, what should be the value so let me put the value so we can see that settings here now and now we can go and say that let's one more time deploy to web app are you sure want to okay deploy let's see in output window what is happening here so ensuring this is just creating web web it happened it was that last time it was some error came during the refresh of the property now it is zipping all these things and committing all the code from local and now it is trying to deploy that one so let's wait for some time it is copying all the required file it says that deployment is successful we can browse the website and if we browse website our page should come here it page came so we can see it from here and if we go into our first page which was here i can go ahead and refresh it is coming right now if we browse from here it is coming so we can make any changes from here uh, let's go ahead and quickly make one change and let's say that v1 right and now i'm going to say one more time that into app services and deploy deploy now it is again starting to do all the activities now it says that deployment is succeeded we can go and browse this is v1 let me replace the older ones this is also v1s 
all the older one this is local host which we have all this b1 so this is what i wanted to show you that how we can deploy a node.js application web app from visual studio code very easily into azure thank you Thank mm -hmm. you.